right, in this video, we're going to look at problem number 30 on the free ATIT's math practice test that you can find over at www.bcraftmath.com. Number 30, the light bills over the past six months for the Forrest family were the following. We have six light bills here, and what is the average light bill for the Forrest family over these six months? The average in this case is the same thing as finding the mean. We want to add up all six of these bills and we want to divide by six because we have six of them. It's no different than finding a test average in a class probably. You take how many tests you had in a class, you add up all those test grades and you divide by how many test grades you have. So that first step again is to add all six numbers up. On the T's test, for sake of speed, I recommend using the calculator here. And then once you get that sum, you want to divide that by six. And again, for sake of speed on the T's test, I recommend using the calculator here as well. Just for sake of this video, to review long division, 843 divided by six, six goes into eight one time. One times six gives us six. We get a remainder of two here. Bringing down that four, six goes into 24 four times because four times six is 24. We get a remainder of zero there. But now let's bring down this three. Six goes into three zero times. That's why I wanted to review long division here because now we need to tack on a decimal. Let's add on point zero, 843.0, which makes this become 30. And this is totally fine as long as we remember to put our decimal right up here too to match them up, to line them up. And six goes into 30 five times, five times six is 30 with a remainder of zero. So doing this on the calculator very quickly, you can add those up, you get 843, dividing that by six, we get an average light bill for these six months to be $140.50. There will be times later on in your college path where the word average might not mean adding up the numbers and dividing by how many numbers you have. Saving that for a statistics course, for now on the T's test, if you have to find an average, this is what you want to do. And there you have it, problem number 30 on the free ATIT's math practice test. And again, you can pick this up over at www.bcraftmath.com. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.